Hi, I'm Michelle and here with me today on BDTV, I have Des, the founder of Environ Skincare. Thanks for coming in. Thank you for inviting me. Des, what's your background that, that led you into the creation of Environ? Well, I was looking at a way to try and uh, prevent melanoma and so I started to read and eventually what I learned was about vitamin A and skin cancer. And of course, skin cancer is just the worst degree of uh, sun damage. And sun damage causes wrinkles. And I was a plastic surgeon, so I was particularly involved in making people look younger. <laughs> and you can't make somebody look younger if you do a facelift and they've got lousy skin. Right. So you have to make uh, the best possible skin so that you get the best possible facelift. The formula's been around for a while now with the key ingredients of vitamins A, C and E. Has that formulation changed? Yes, uh, the formulations have changed because when I look at it, those initial formulas were, or formulae, were rather naive. <laughs> but now we've learned how to uh, make them more available uh, for skin. We've also learned that we need lower doses and also higher doses. So the range has, if anything, expanded quite considerably. Now the most important thing is that for the future we doubt that there's ever going to be a change away from the main focus of vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E. What we are uh, going to add to the uh, product would be other ingredients to deal with uh, the DNA, to deal with uh, um, messages around between cells. Because you know, this is uh, largely a story of cellular communication. And what is cellular communication? This is uh, uh, very important in skin. Uh, for one cell to know what another cell is doing. And this is where your stratum corneum is such an important uh, uh, part of this messaging system because it's the very top layer and everybody thinks it's dead. But meantime, it's sending signals down to the lowest layer to say, look, uh, we need this, we need that. Uh, uh, maybe more moisturization, maybe more color, things like that. And this is where uh, uh, this messaging system starts, right in that dead layer. And that's why it's a tragedy that so many uh, skin care therapists are actually destroying the stratum corneum. So what kind of skin conditions does the Environ range treat? It treats uh, anybody who goes out into light. Okay, everybody. <laughs> everybody. <laughs> we all suffer as a result of going out into light. And the damage is the same, irrespective of the type of your skin. And I understand when you're using the range, you start at a minimum dosage? Yes, practice. that's right. Very important because you see, vitamin A requires a certain receptors on the cell walls to get it from outside the cell to inside the cell and inside the cell it gets stored. But uh, unfortunately, as we get older, we get a lot more sun damage and sun damage destroys the receptors. So the, uh, we have to build up those receptors. Now the paradox about vitamin A is that uh, the only way you get more receptors is if you have more vitamin A. <laughs> so it's a sort of catch-22 situation there that you you can't take it in, but the only way to bring it in is to have more of the thing you can't take in. <laughs> so after a while the skin settles and you get more receptors and uh, so that's why we start on a low dose so that the skin only has to handle a small amount of the uh, vitamin A and then as it builds up the receptors back to the normal level then you can handle the higher doses. So what is it that sets Environ apart from other skincare brands? Well, I think the important thing is that we use vitamin A and a full range of antioxidants in high dosage. And so the dosage very largely separ separates us from uh, uh, all other ranges. The 
other thing is how we manufacture it. Because, you know, you can put in, uh, say, a gram of vitamin A, mm. but if you haven't protected it, then by the time it's inside the cream, it's not a gram. It's maybe a quarter or a tenth of the amount. And that's what we do. Uh, we manufacture under special lights. We manufacture with uh, 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 avoiding oxygen so that uh, our creams truly are incredibly active uh, uh, antioxidants. And what's next for the brand? Well, I've been quite excited about a research work that I started in 2007, which we'll probably release at the end of this year when we move into our new factory. But uh, this one, uh, I think it was the largest skincare trial ever in the world. And it's uh, involved, as you can understand, about 100 people. And it had about 98% acceptance rate, Fabulous. which is enormously high. So it's uh, been a very gratifying uh, product to use. It's, uh, um, uh, it's, its code name was called Facelift in the Bottle. And is that what it will do? <laughs> uh, well, actually, now I'm working on facelift in the bottle too. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> Des, thank you so much for coming in to talk to us today. Thank you very much, Michelle.